Look, here's the black holocaust I knew it was prophecy A thousand times worse than your Jewish atrocities Uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score Cause in 1619, that's when they declared war We the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise reaches My knee First off I want to say, call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Mashiach Yahweh We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come week in, week out, day in, day out, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, who are the chosen people of God, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You guys are the true Israelites that the Bible is speaking of, man. All right? I want to start off, man. Let me get first. Let me start off with John 8:32. Let me just start with that real quick, man. All right, because we in this truth for a reason, man. Because it's gonna set us free, man. We don't listen to none of these false philosophies of men. We here to wake up our people in hopes that they're gonna receive salvation, because that's what it's all about, man. John eight, John eight, thirty two. Let me get the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, man. This is St. John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Nobody else is going to get us free out of this captivity, man, except Yahweh Shah, which is the truth, man. That's right. Let me get Psalms 119 real quick, 142. Psalms 119, 142, then we're gonna get started with this lesson, man. Because we gotta have an understanding of what the truth actually is, man. The truth is not what you hear in the so-called church, man. Edomite's church, man. Things of that nature. Pass the pork chop, like my brothers like to say. Let me know what we got there. Huh. Bring it up. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 132. 142. 142, Slucky. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, man. Everlasting. Go ahead. And thy law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. Not Catholicism. Uh -huh. Not Muslims, man. Not Jehovah's Witness. Not Christianity. Thy law. The law, statutes, and commandments that was given to the Israelites and the Israelites only. The Mosaic law is the truth. So that's what we need to understand when we are reading this Bible, man, trying to wake up to who we truly are. Understand that what you are reading is the truth from the beginning all the way to the end. Let me get Proverbs chapter 1, verses 5 through 7, man. Huh. And let me get Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9 through 10. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. Bring it out! A wise man will hear and will increase learning, mm. and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Mm -hmm. to understand a proverb and the interpretation the words of the wise mm -hmm. and their dark sayings oh, the, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge That's right. but fools despise wisdom and instruction the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wise men are going to attain to wise counsels man when you come into this truth all right, and you've been blinded in this world by the wicked, it's almost impossible for you to literally just open up the Bible on the first day, read, and just understand everything that's coming out of these scriptures because there's so many dark sayings in these scriptures, so many metaphors, man, prophecies. But if you really want to obtain that knowledge, if you truly love Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you're going to obtain to wise counsels, which means that if you don't have the answer to what's coming out of these scriptures, you need to be around people who have the answers. You need to call your brother. You need to call your elder. And hey, say, hey, man, I got a question on this, man. I'm really not understanding this breakdown. There's nothing wrong with that, man. It's beautiful, man, when you do those type of things. Why? Because somebody may understand that breakdown more than you. The Most High is dealing with everybody, man, when it comes to the scriptures as far as the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, those who wake up to this truth, though. The 144,000 chosen elect men, the one-third of Israel. But it doesn't mean that everybody's going to understand. So I'll ask my elders, man, if I don't understand what's coming out of these scriptures to make sure that I'm getting the breakdown correctly. And the Most High sees that. That's why we need to pray for understanding, knowledge, wisdom. We need to watch about the things that we pray for, man. Let me get Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9 through 10. 
This is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9 and 10. Bring it out. Give instruction to a wise man, mm. and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. That's right. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. So if you are striving for righteousness, man, you're going to increase in learning because your spirit is going to cause you to go and seek wise counsel, to get in these scriptures and really break things down. My brother Kassiyah was breaking bread with me the other night, showing me how to break down scriptures, understand it in the Hebrew, man. Get out different definitions as far as certain words that are in these scriptures so that I can fully understand the context of what the scripture is saying. And that's a beautiful thing. That is also part of doing the work of the Most High. You're not just going to get it just like that, man. The Most High wants to see if you've got that type of spirit that's going to cause you to get in these scriptures and really break this stuff down. Shalom, man. So that's a powerful precept to understand. Let me get the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. Oh, you got more? Go ahead, bring that up. Keep going. Salak. This is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. And the knowledge of the holy. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you do not fear the Most High and the judgments that can possibly come upon you for not listening to these law, statutes, and commandments, man, understand the Most High is not dealing with you. It's just that simple. Understand, man, you're going to end up being a dead man walking around these streets, man. You signing your own death certificate when the Most High comes back and visits this place, man, with destruction, man. Because he's coming back to destroy these heathens for what they've done to God's people. How do you guys feel about what's been done to God's people? I know you don't care. And that's why we're going to get into this, man. Understand that not everybody's going to listen to these scriptures, man. They're going to walk up and down, man, and just be in their folly. Let me get Proverbs 8 and 13. God, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 13. Bring it out. Oh, the fear of the Lord is to hate. Salak it. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Mm. Pride and arrogance, see. Mm. And the evil way. And the slack it and the fro forward mouth do I hate. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride, arrogancy, man. This entire nation is built upon pride, man. They do what they want to do. Every single type of law that they try to create and force upon us is contrary to the most high, man. We're supposed to hate evil. That means all evil ways. That's right. How are they gonna make pedophilia legal? They let homosexuality be legal. You got Pastor Porkchop that's marrying Tom and Chuck in the church, man. Makes no sense. It's wickedness, man, at an all-time high. That's why we know we're in these last days. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, that it's going to be like the days as it was in Noah, man. And if you go look in the scriptures and find out how it was in the days as it was in Noah, you'll see that all hell broke loose, man. It was all out wickedness to the point that he repented the Lord that he had to destroy the earth with water, man, with the flood. And guess what? That second death is coming where he's going to destroy this earth with fire, man. Nuclear destruction. That's God right. said the Lord, man. Right. Let me get Pro uh, Psalms 111.10 and then let me get uh, Proverbs 1.29, okay? This is Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. Bring it out. Therefore of the Lord slap him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, mm -hmm. and good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Mm -hmm. His praise endureth forever. Again, we're reiterating it again, man, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. Huh. When you start to have that fear, once you wake up to who you truly are, as an Israelite, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, then you start to think when the more you read, like, man, I didn't know that this was wrong. I didn't know that this was a sin. I didn't know that this was transgressing the law. I can't do this no more, man. Man, I can't hang out with that brother no more, man, because all he wants to do is commit folly and wickedness, man. And I don't want that to fall upon me. That's that fear of the Lord that's growing in you. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And, it, and you should praise. You should give praise to the Most High for that, man. That he's instilling that fear of wisdom in your, uh, that fear of the Lord in your heart, man. 
There's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with separating yourselves. Deuteronomy 7, 6 says that he made us above all people, man. We're a holy people. That's right. Holy means separate. Gun. Part of being separate is separating yourselves from the wicked. Separating yourselves from all the folly that's going around here on this wicked earth, man. Gun. Set apart. Set apart, brother. That's right. Go ahead and bring that precept out, man. This is, this is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Bring it out. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, mm, right. it's because there's no light in them. Uh -huh. mm, that's powerful precept. If you don't speak on the ordinances of the Most High, man, there's no light in you. It's just that simple. You got a lot of heathens and, you know what I'm saying, scoffers, two-thirds. They'll try to come up, man, asking questions. Then when we try to deal with them with love, all right, and try to answer their questions based off the Bible, all right, they don't want to hear it. No, I just want to hear your own understanding. What do you feel about it? I don't want to hear the scriptures, man. Because there's no light in them. And we have to understand that, man. Go ahead and give me what you were holding. Come on, there's a book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 29. Bring it out! Come on. For that, so like it, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. Mm. They hated knowledge. So like it. Go ahead. Not choose the fear of the Lord. All right. We choose to have that fear of the Most High, man. That's right. All right, the, look, many, <laughs> many are selected, man. I'm paraphrasing, but you are, uh, few are chosen, man. Uh -huh. All right? So just as being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you're already eligible for the most highest draft, man. But it doesn't mean that you're going to be chosen, man. You got a first round, you got a second round. And if you don't make it at that last pick of the second round, hey, you just out of there, man. We'll see you in the new kingdom, man. When the 130, 144 chosen elect men decide to make babies again. Come. Because we know when you come back at that time, you're going to come back with the spiritual body. That's right. You're going to come back in tune to be able to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Thus saith the Lord, man. Let me get Proverbs 14 and 9. Come. And let me get Proverbs 13 and 20. Come. This is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 9. Bring it out. Oh. Fools make a mock at my sin. Mm. Fools make Fools make a mock at sin, mm -hmm. but among the righteous there is favor. Mm. Fools will mock at sin, man. They think it's nothing. America tries to teach our people that you got free will. We ain't got no free will around here, man. There is no free will. And you can't allow the wicked to cloud your mind. They gonna mock at sin, man. Fools despise knowledge, man. Simple as that. There's only so much that you can do as far as dialoguing with the fool, man. All right? Because, again, people are going to come and ask you questions. What's pertaining to this Bible? Obviously, they don't know all the answers, and they're seeking answers. But if you're not seeking answers with a humble heart and coming in truth and sincerity, then that spirit, that prideful spirit is going to be shown, man. And there's not going to be any light in you. Shalom, brothers and sisters. How you doing? Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 20. Bring it out. He that walketh with wise men mm -hmm. shall be wise, mm -hmm. but a companion of fools mm. shall be destroyed. A companion of fools shall be destroyed, man. This is why we are encouraging our brothers and sisters to get in these scriptures, keep everything in these scriptures from the beginning to the end. You want to receive salvation, trust me. I don't want to live in this wicked world no more, man. I'm tired of this place, man. Huh. I'm not looking forward to what's going to happen next month, man. I don't care about what's going to happen in 2021. I hope the Most High comes and destroys this place before it even gets to that time, man. I hope that I am chosen, man. Lord willing. Neither one of us brothers up here don't even know if we are chosen or not, man. But we doing the work, man, to make our elect, to make our calling. The election short. The election short. Mm -hmm. The water. That's what we out here doing, man. That's why we get out here week in and week out and wake up the lost sheep. Because our heritage has been stripped from us, man. Because we, our ancestors and our forefathers didn't listen to the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to the Israelites and the Israelites only, man. How do you guys feel about the rape, robbery, and murder of our people, man? They don't care. Because this is their heaven. That's why. And enjoy it, because you're going into slavery. It's just that simple. Let 
let me get it. Uh, you already read right that? No, let me, no, no, we're going to read that. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, bring that out. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Bring it out. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Go ahead. And be more ready to hear mm. than to give the sacrifice of fools. Be more ready to hear. When you coming up here to the congregation, you got questions, you got to have that spirit to hear, man. You got to have that spirit to hear. Don't come up here talking, talking about you know it all, man. Because if you did, brother, or if you if you really knew what was coming out of your scriptures, you'd be out here on the highways and byways yourself doing the work, waking up the lost sheep. Hey, hey, what's that saying that we have? We have two ears and one mouth. That's right, brother. So we must listen more mm -hmm. than we should talk. <laughs> That's right. It's that simple. Grandma told us that. That's right, brother. You ain't going to be over to understand, baby, if you've got your mouth moving. Uh -huh. Keep your mouth closed and not open your ears, darling. These are things we got to understand. It's the same approach to these scriptures. Go ahead and bring that out. Nah, nah. For they consider not that they do evil. Mm. And it's just that simple, man. A lot of the stuff that's in these scriptures is literal. But if you're going to have that spirit that you're not going to want to understand, you're going to have that spirit. Because a lot of times, man, you'll read a scripture, you'll hear a scripture, and you know you know it pertains to your life. It pertains to you having to actually change something. That's right. And you allow that pride to build up that you don't want to make those changes. Yeah, man, a righteous man going to fall seven times and get himself back up, man. But living in these last days, man, you don't even want that jump to be seven times, man. Fall one time and get back up and don't fall again. That's right. Go ahead and bring that out. God, it's a book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 20. Bring it out. A wise man, so like a wise son maketh a glad father, mm. but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Mm -hmm. Is that it on that? That's it on that. Album. A foolish man despiseth his mother, man. Oh, so like oh. There's, there's one good scripture out there. Go ahead, bring that out. Verse 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, mm -hmm. but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. A man of understanding is going to walk uprightly, man, which means he's going to walk in the ways of the Most High. He's going to understand the definition of love, which is keeping the commandments based out of John 14 and 15. That is the true definition of love. So if you don't keep the commandments, you don't love the Most High, man. It's just that simple. Powerful precept, man. Let me get Romans chapter 1, verse 21 through 22. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 21, verse 22. Bring it no. out. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself. Thou that pre preachest a man should not steal, does thou steal? Actually, Romans 1, chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. No problem. This is what it's about, man. We just waking up our people, man. We truly love y'all, man. If we didn't love y'all, man, we're not going to be out here doing open rebuke. We're not going to be out here trying to let you know where you falling off. We're not going to be out here trying to cut, bring you back into the fold to the most high. We'll just let you just go do what you're going to do, and then we just keep the knowledge and wisdom, man. That ain't fair, man. If I'm not waking up and teaching my own children, man, then look, man, what type of father am I? What type of parent am I? All right? If we truly love Israel and we don't get out here to wake up our people who are the lost sheep, the real Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, then we don't really love y'all. How you guys doing? Beautiful, beautiful Israelite family, man. Hey, if you guys don't mind, I got a question real quick. Do you guys know who you are? Do you know who your true nationality is? I didn't see that. Sorry. Come on, man. What's your nationality based on the Bible? It's African. African. If you want to claim African, man, hey, I look into your lineage because you may not be African. You might be Judah. And the Most High is not dealing with Africans. Our people want to cling on to everything, man. Want to cling on to calling themselves an Egyptian, an African, things of that nature. We got to get out of that mindset, man. All right? The Spirit's going to bear witness anyway. Come. So even if they was African and they wanted to stop by, hey, man, their lineage might line up with the tribes of Israel, man. Because the Spirit's going to bear witness if you're not able to find your lineage. That's right. Didn't want to get too much off topic, off topic, Salaki. But these are things we have to understand, man. We truly love our people, which is why we out here. Is that it on that? No, no. 
bring it out right now. Go ahead. Salah. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Bring it out. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Mm -hmm. Neither were thankful, mm. but became vain in their imaginations. Mm. And their foolish heart was darkened. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, mm. they became fools. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, man. Our people want to stay blinded. They want to stay trapped in this Christianity, man, which is nothing but white supremacy. Like my brother Kashiyah would say. It's nothing but white supremacy, man, to keep you guys blinded, to keep you guys on a lower state, man. The Most High says that we are better than everybody, man. Will we keep these law, statutes, and commandments? Why do you not want to grasp hold to that, man? Why do you not want to understand that concept, man? Bring that out. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. Bring it out. This is a rebellious people, mm. lying children, children that will not hear the Lord, Salakia, the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not, mm. not unto us right things. Mm. Speak unto us smooth things, wow. prophesy deceits. And that's the problem with our people, man. We stiff neck. We want to hear smooth things all the time. We want to hear, you know what I'm saying, Jesus loves me, this I know. It makes no sense, man. The Most High don't love everybody, man. That's right. We don't want to, look, you can't come up here trying to hear smooth things. You can't come into the truth and think that everything's going to be smooth. It is a straight path to get to the kingdom, man, to get to the Most High. It's not a wide path. This is not an easy thing, man. Sirach chapter, I believe, chapter 2 and 1 says, prepare your soul for temptation when you come into this truth, man. It ain't going to be easy once you wake up to who you truly are. Once you start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You're going to be attacked every shape, way, and form, man. Temptation is going to come your way more than ever before. These Christians are not tempted like we are, man. These Christians don't go through things like we go through, man. They don't go through things like Christ went through, man, for our people. Paul said that I wish that I was a curse for my brethren's sake, man. He wished that he could go through what Christ went through. Because he truly loved the Most High, man. That's right. Through his son, Baha'i, Yahweh, Baha'i, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. These are things we got to understand. It ain't going to be easy. Let me get, uh... Jeremiah 10. Yeah, let me get that. Jeremiah 10, 14 and 15. Come on. It's book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 14. Yeah. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Mm -hmm. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. Mm. For this molten image is falsehood, mm. and there is no breath in them. Right. They are vanity, and the work of errors in the time of their visitations, they shall perish. Wow. That's it on that, huh? In the time of the, of the visitation, they shall perish, man. The Most High is coming to visit real soon. You got any questions? I don't know what you got yet. <laughs> well, we out here just trying to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that they are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Uh, Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Most High God? Uh, you know, I haven't read the whole thing, so yeah. I really couldn't answer All right, that's an honest answer. Parts of it sound good. Mm -hmm. it don't sound good. What don't sound good to you is uh, on what you read? Violence part. Violence part? Well, do you know? Do you know that everything that has happened on this earth, man, as far as what was to be prophesied, happened on this earth? Oh. Do you see the sign right here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a, a, a real question. I want you to answer me honestly. All right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right. Especially dealing with the blacks and Latinos, man, were put on slave ships and brought over here to this land, man. All right. Raped, robbed, murdered. Do you think that's a good thing, man? Are you sorry? Do you, what, what nation of people? put these people into slavery. I mean, we can be honest, man, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I go back further than that. Maybe. I mean, to get your point, I see where you're going. But the thing is, is that when I studied near death experiences in that world, I realized that there ain't no difference between you and I. There's no difference between you and I, okay? I mean, I mean spiritually speaking. Well, brother, we actually speak, thus saith the Lord. We don't speak off our own understanding, all right? Everything that we get is out of these scriptures, okay? So when you say that, hey, me and you are the same person, man, really, if we were the same people, man, and I'm going to bring this out again, and I want you to answer honestly, man. All right, what's your name real quick? 
Russ, all right, Russ, are you an honest man, Russ? All right, so you can be honest and tell me what nation of people did this to, uh, to this people, right? What, what, pe what people committed innocent rape, robbery, and murder, all right, and, and slavery? Pretty much every nation. Every nation on the planet, man. It sounds like you're ducking around, man, all right? Be specific, brother. You know the answer, man. Specifically, right, don't come up. I know specifically in this picture, though. And what do I want to hear then, brother? Because what I want to hear is the truth. The only thing that's happened as far as dealing with slavery, man, has only happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it's right! That simple. That's and that's, right. you can get that all the way from history, man. You don't even got to pick up the Bible. You can go read in your history books and see that's what's taught to our kids, man. So what people done this to our people? And I'm not trying to yell at you or anything like that. I'm just trying to get an honest dialogue, man. Let's not beat around the bush. That's exactly my point. So, would you say the so-called would you say the so-called white man put these people in slavery? That seems to be what the indication. It's either a yes or no question, Russ. I wasn't there. I don't know. All I can tell you is All right, let me get um. Let me, let me show you something real quick, all right? But first, how do you feel about that, though? You know it's the white man, but how do you feel about that? I don't like that? it at all. You don't like it at all. And what do you think should happen? Should there be some type of justice, man? Should there be some type of justice, some type of reparations for the for our people, man, that's gone through the slavery? I don't know. You don't know. All right, well, let's see what the Bible says is going to happen. What you got? Yeah, check this out. This is what the Bible says is going to happen. And let me read Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. Are you a just man? Actually, Revelation 13. Do you believe in justice, man? Listen, do I believe? I, you know. I so if I took happens. your camera. What's that? If I took your camera right now. Yeah. What would the justice in that be? What would happen to me? I would just take it back. You then what if back. I beat you up? What if I beat you up? Hold on, that was a great question. That was a great answer. You said that you would just, you would take it back, right? All right, well, let's see what the Most High is going to do, all right? Since your people have literally took us out of our land, all right, and enslaved, raped, robbed, and murdered our people. Let's see what God says what's going to happen to your people. Bring this up, man. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Are you listening, Russ? I'm listening. All right, go ahead. For his children. Mm -hmm. for, for the his... iniquity of their father. For his children. Go ahead. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the earth. Mm the world with cities. So the so God says that Russ, and you tried to say that, hey man, I wasn't the one that was involved in this. Well, the Bible says, Russ, that you're going to have to prepare slaughter for the iniquities of your forefathers because your forefathers have raped, robbed, and murdered our people. You have benefited off, you're benefiting right now on this land off the innocent bloodshed of our people. Can you admit that? Can you admit that? Bankruptcy uh, benefiting, okay. Do you celebrate Thanksgiving, brother? What's that? Did you celebrate Thanksgiving this past day? No. No? You never celebrated Did Thanksgiving? You hear what I said? You gotta speak up, Russ. I said homelessness, mm -hmm. bankruptcy, chronic illness. That's my history. That's your so history. Like so I, you're, so I you're a vagabond. That's our history too. When your people came over here, man, and, and, and stole the land from your people, brother. I think I blame individuals more than I blame groups. Hey, hey, hey! Do you think that it's a benefit that you can walk on stolen land due to what your ancestors did? You should, you should be homeless. You should be dead, really. Right, right. They don't want to deal with that, man. All right, the spirit bears witness, man. They don't want to deal with the, the judgments, man. All right? They think it's just fair what happened to our people, and they, and they don't have to pay for anything that they've done, man. The Most High says you're going to pay for it, brother. Just that simple, man. What I got you holding, man? Where we at? Let me get Proverbs 23 and 9. Yeah, 23 and 9. Let me get Proverbs 26 and 4. Proverbs 23 and 9. This why, man, look, man, we're going to bring this out. This is why we, you know, you can only dialogue with a fool so much, man. I'm sitting there asking a brother, and I'm asking him questions, man, that's based off history. He knows the answer, but he's going to sit there and say, well, I know what you want to want me to say, but uh, I feel that we are equal. 
That's folly and wickedness, man. Book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 9. Bring it out. Speak not in the ears of a fool, mm. for he will despise the wisdom of thy word. Mm -hmm. Remove. Read that one more time, man. Speak not in the ears of a fool, mm -hmm. or he will despise the wisdom of thy word. Speak not into the ears of a fool, man. Russ want to be a fool coming up here, man. Coming up here looking at all the pictures, all up in the way of the camera, but then we want to sit there and ask him simple questions about how he feels and what should happen to his people for what they've done to our people. He wants to sit there and play dumb. So we can only dialogue with these fools for so long, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we out here for our people, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And that's it, man. That's right. This word is only going to benefit our people and our people only because this word was given to our people. These are things we got to understand, man. Go ahead and bring that out, out. This is Proverbs chapter 26, verse 4. Bring it out. Now, answer not a fool according to his fault. Mm. Least thou also be like unto him. Mm. Answer not a fool according to his folly. All right? Now, if the brother Russ was sitting here telling me, like, well, I, you know, we're, we're equal, brother. All right? And just because he's saying it all soft, you know what I'm saying, with smooth words, if I was to answer this dude and be like, yeah, man, we are equal, brother. We, you know what? We are equal. Then I'm just like this, brother, man. I'm a fool. You want to listen to Christianity? You want to listen to all these false philosophies and doctrines, man? Take heed into it. Then you're going to become it, man. You're going to become a fool yourself. You're going to end up getting swifted and drifted away from the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High is telling you to keep. Just that simple. Because it all comes back to that, man. Let me get Proverbs 27 and 5. Come. Ephesians 4 26. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 5. Bring it up. Go. Open rebuke is better than secret love. That's right. Open rebuke is better than secret love, man. Just like we're going to rebuke our brothers and sisters, man, to tell them to turn away from their sins and come back to who they truly are, we also going to open rebuke these heathen nations, too, man, for what they've done to our people. Let them know that they're going to slavery. Let them know that, man, that this is their heaven. They better enjoy it now. Bring that precept up. It's the book of Sirach. Chapter 42, verse 8. Bring it out. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish and the extreme age that contended with those that are young. Thus shalt thou be truly learned and approved of all men living. Mm. Don't be ashamed, man. Don't be ashamed. If you don't have the answer to certain things, man, to seek wise counsel. Don't be ashamed to let our people know about their sins, man. Let me get uh, Isaiah 58 one real quick. You cannot be ashamed about these things, man. What's the purpose of you coming week in and week out, doing the work, man, keeping the law, statutes, commandments, changing your entire life, man, for righteousness, man, for you to just turn around, be bugged out, and go back into the world? Bring that up. Book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. That's right. And the house of Jacob their sins. And the house of Israel their sins. We cry aloud, man. We speak boldly out here, man. We're not sparing none of your guys' feelings, man. Because the Most High is not a respecter of persons, brother. The Most High is not a respecter of persons, sister. The Most High has never changed, Malachi 3 and 6. So we're going to cry aloud. We're not sparing none of your feelings. We're going to let you pe let our people know they sinned. We're going to let our people know that they need to repent, that they need to come back to thus said the Lord. That's right. Keep the faith. Pray. Rehearse these righteous acts, man. Go ahead and bring that up. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it up. Oh. Be ye angry and sin not. All right, this stuff, man, all this folly makes us angry, man. Dealing with fools makes us angry, man. But we are still not to sin not, man. That's why Proverbs says that, look, man, don't even sit there and waste your time, paraphrasing, waste your time dialoguing with fools too much, man. Because it's going to piss you off to a certain point, man. You're going to end up wanting to strike somebody, man. 
Sometimes it just happens that way. Hey, man, the Most High ain't looking for no weaklings in this thing, man. He looking for men. He looking for men who going to stand up for dust at the Lord. Warriors. Now, you got Yahweh Hishim. Now, we're, we're servants of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You got any questions? This is not a religion. We're, this is an heritage, a chosen heritage, a chosen bloodline. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. I'm Dominican. All right, religion is all, you're Dominican, all praises, man. Yeah. On your father's side or your mother's side? Uh, huh? My mom. Your mom's side. Oh, what's, what's your father? I never knew the Baptists. <laughs> never know him? He was a faggot. Hey, man, look, man. If you look into your lineage, you might figure to find, you might be able to find that out. But you oh. might be an Israelite, man. No, I got spirit I, bears with you, brother. Not a Jew. Go ahead. Why not? Ashkenazi is a fake Jew. It's a fake Jew, brother. So you already know it. Six four percent, bro. I'm native. Half native. Do you do you love God, man? No, you do? I'm not religious, though, bro. Because you can make it. It's not. It's, again, this is not a religious thing. This is us waking up our people to come back to who they truly are and stand up for the Most High. Man. That's not a religion. Religion is man-made, brother. I know, I did. All right. All religion is man-made. But the Israelites, man, we are made from the Most High. Do you understand that? All right. Now, now, now you said that you love the Most High, right? Do you know the true definition of love in the Bible? Can I show you something real quick? Before you go on your way? Uh, sure. One quick thing, man. Like I said, I'm not let me get guy. Let me get 1 John chapter 5, I'm not verses, you, verses 3 and 4. And then let me get 1 first, uh, first John. Uh, actually, it's not, uh, there's too much controversy, you know. Uh, let me get uh, John 14, 15. Hey, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah. Have some ready, man. You up here in the house of the Lord, man. I want you to listen to this, all right? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bring this up. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it up. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God, okay? Go ahead. That we keep his commandments, mm -hmm. and his commandments are not grievous. That we keep his commandments. So the definition of love, brother, what's your name? Alex. So the definition of love, Alex, that according to God, is that we keep his commandments, all right? And keeping his commandments is going to keep you away from sin, and I'm going to show you this real quick, man. God, this book of first Salakia, this book of St. John. Actually, go, let me get... Uh, uh, transgressing the law. First John. Transgressing the law. Let me show you the definition of sin out the Bible. Out the scripture. Uh, first John chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it out. No, no, no. Right, just about yeah. Three three, four, yeah. Here we go. This is. Whosoever committed sin. This book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. So we have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments that was only given to the Israelites. Alright? The Mosaic law. Alright? Dealing with the Old Testament. The Most High has never changed. So the only people that can actually sin, alright, technically are the Israelites. Because of the simple fact, because of the simple fact the law, statutes, and commandments was given to us, man. These are the nations that are outside of the nation of Israel, man. The Most High created them to be wicked, all right? And their job is to literally oppress us because that was a punishment that was put upon our people. Do you understand that? Yeah. So if you truly love God, man, then you're not going to sin, all right? You're going to put that vape away, man, all right? Because that is doing nothing but just literally, you're asking for cancer, brother. All right, and if I didn't truly love you, brother, all right, then I wouldn't be letting you know these things, okay? So what you got to do, Alex, all right, is come back to who you truly are. Maybe look a little bit more deeper into your lineage on your father's side, all right, to figure out who you truly are. Because it is through the bloodline of your father that determines who you are as far as being an Israelite, okay? All right, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, you no problem, man. from here, Seattle. Um, I'm from Oakland, California, but I, you might as well say I'm from Seattle now, man. All, All right, right. You guys take care, man. All right, brother. Smile a little bit, man. Oh, hey, man. Hey, we serious out here. Let me tell you why we're not smiling, man, because we serious out here. Because we are tired of all... The folly, we're tired of all the oppression upon our people. Our brother's getting shot down by the police every single day, man. That, there's nothing to smile about right now, man. The wicked is in rulership right now, all right? And the earth mourns, man, when me, the wicked's in rulership. Bring that let, me tell you, let me tell you why we're mad, man, or why we're not happy out here, man. Bring it up. It's book Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. That's good. Surely oppression 
maketh a wise man mad. Mm -hmm. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So if you're going to be wise in this thing, man, you should be able to see the oppression upon the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native right, Americans. Right. And if you truly love the Most High, you're going to be angry about that thing, man. All right? So angry that you're going to sit here and think to yourself, what do I got to do to make a change? The change is to get in the scriptures. The change is to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's so right. our people can be whole. Our people can be righteous again. That's right, brother. That's All right, right, brother? All right, brother. Thank you, bro. All right, shalom, brother. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, you have a good awesome, one, man. Bro. God bless. Yes, sir. Let me get 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 28. Done. And then let me get Psalms uh, 147, 19, and 20. Go ahead. So book of 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 28. Bring it up. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, mm. saith the Lord. The heathen are going to envy us as Israelites. How you doing, brother? I'm talking to my people, brother. These people pushing all hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tweedledee. What's your, hey, man, real quick, what's your nationality, man? Come on, yeah. Ethiopia. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to deal with you in a second, man. All right, go ahead. Read that one more time, brother. Done. It's like Book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 28. Mm -hmm. The heathen shall envy thee, mm -hmm. but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, mm. saith the Lord. The heathen are going to envy us as Israelites. They envy the fact that we out here on the highways and byways putting in the work of the Most High. Even these couch Israelites envy us, man. All right? They want to sit on their couch and be on their Twitter fingers, man. And sit there and attack the men of the Lord who are doing the work. Don't want to push the link. To debate that stupid cause, man. All right? Heathen going to envy when you come back to who you truly are. They want you to continue to be a nigga. They, can see, they want you to continue to be what they labeled on you as a byword and proverb, man. They're going to envy that when you wake up to who you truly are. They're going to envy you when you're walking around here with fringes on, man. As a reminder to keep these commandments, which is why we wear them, thus said the Lord. That's right. But we can't allow, we got to understand that they're going to envy us anyway, man. The Most High created them to be that way. This is the Most High's movie. We are just roles playing in this movie. And there ain't nothing we can do about it. And at the beginning of the movie, we messed up. So we go through trials and tribulations. And at the end of the movie, the Israelites are going to be reigning in the new kingdom, man. That's right. With righteousness. Thus said the Lord, man. Uh, Let me get to right. chapter 6 and 9 real quick. All right? Well, I got you both. Bring that up. Bring it up. This is Psalms chapter 147, 19 to 20. He showed his words unto Jacob, mm -hmm. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Mm. Verse 20, he has not dealt so with any nation. That's right. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye Yahweh, man. That's right. Praise ye Yahweh. It's a beautiful thing that he's only showed his statutes and judgments unto Israel, man. It, praise ye Yahweh that he's only dealing with the Israelites and not the rest of these wicked nations who they had us in captivity. We praise the Most High for that, man. It's just that simple. The law, statutes, and commandments is not given to you heathens. It's not given to the wicked, man. For what? When the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. You guys ought to receive the entire earth, man. What, you want the law, statutes, and commandments too? Damn, quit being greedy. <laughs> Can't take everything. This is for us, man. Let me get Romans 9, 3, and 4. Bring out, bring out what I got you for. Done. Book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. Bring it out. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. The so-called white man, your world is coming to an end. That's what the scriptures say, man. We're not making this up. This not coming out our own mouth, our own mouth and just follow. No, we getting it out of the scriptures and we let you know that the so-called white man, your world's coming to an end. All right? Your Starbucks is coming to an end. Your McDonald's is coming to an end. All these churches that are blind our people is coming to an end. All right? The government, these wicked, man, let me get this down real quick. Grab this real quick. Y'all, all these people right here, y'all coming to an end. Hey, man, I hope the most high gives me inheritance to one of these freaking guys, man. As my slaves, if I'm, uh, as, as slaves for me, if I make the kingdom. I can't wait to put him into slavery. That stuff's coming to an end. The way you've been oppressing our people and blinding us with all this folly and foolishness, false philosophy and doctrine, that's coming to an end. That's and right. guess what's going to be the beginning of the world that follows it? The Israelites. That's right. That's right. Isn't that a beautiful thing, man? That's right. 
That's how much he loves us, man. That he's willing to destroy this entire earth, man, and create a new earth where we are going to be reigning in righteousness. Our people are not going to have to cry anymore. Our people are not going to have to go through oppression anymore. It's a powerful thing. Go ahead and bring that up. This is Romans, chapter 9, verse 4. Bring it out. Matter of fact, I'm going to hold that real quick. Let me get Isaiah 45, 17. Hold that one. Give me John 3, 16. I'm going to have him bring up this John 3, 16. I'm going to have him bring up this John 3, 16. This is St. John, chapter 3, yeah. verse 16. Bring it up. For God so loved the world. Hey, hey, this is your favorite verse. <laughs> this is every heathen's favorite verse. Go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, mm. but have everlasting life. Whosoever shall believe in him will not perish. We have to figure out who that whosoever is. You mean to tell me that she part of the whosoever? There's just no way, man. Let's find out who that whosoever is. Because you got to understand, man, that there's different worlds, man. There's different worlds. You got the heathen that will uh, take this verse and apply it to themselves and be like, look, he's for everybody. No, man, that ain't the case. Think of Super Mario 1 and 2 and 3. I'm an 80s baby. <laughs> you want to sit there and transform to a different world? You go in one tube, you hop, you go down that tube, and that world is full of water and fish. Ain't no land nowhere. Hop up out that tube, go in another tube, and it's a desert. Ain't no water nowhere. You got a sun trying to chase you. Hop up out that tube and go into another tube. Now the land is in the sky. Ain't no ground nowhere. Same thing applies to us, man. We are the world of Israel. So this scripture is dealing with Israel. We're going to bring this out. Let me get Isaiah 45, 17. Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. Bring it up. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Mm. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, world without end. A world without what? World, world without, without end. end. World without end. Israel. The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when you come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, keep thus saith the Lord, stand up for righteousness, you're going to be a world without end. And it's just that simple, man. That's the gospel, man. Let me get Luke 4, 16, actually 4 and 18. These are things we got to understand, man. World without end. We can't wait for that day, man. Let me get Romans 9, 3 and 4. Bring that out first and then hold what I got you for. Everything is for us, man, the Israelites, man. God. And we're going to bring this out right now. This is a classic right here, man. If you're an Israelite in this truth, man, you should know this verse, man. Book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 3. Mine answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not... Actually, select it. You're, you're on Corinthians. Romans, chapter 9, verses 3 and 4. No problem, man. You're good, man. Romans chapter 9, verse 3 and 4. Bring it out! For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ, mm. from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. This is what Paul is saying. Not according to the Spirit. That's right. According to the flesh, man. Go ahead. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. That's that flesh, kinsmen, brethren he's talking about, man. That's right. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption. One, the adoption. Go ahead. And the glory. Two, the glory. Go ahead. And the covenant. Three, the covenants. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. Four, the giving of the law, statutes and commandments. Go ahead. And the service of God. Five, the services of God. Go ahead. And the promises. And the promises, man. Promises we're going to be delivered out this captivity. That's why we don't dialogue with fools too much, man. They don't want to understand this knowledge and wisdom that come out of these scriptures when we tell them that we are the Israelites and, and the Most High is for us and us only. That's right. Fubu. They don't want to understand it. They don't want to get it. Oh, well, man, the Most High made them that way. Keep it pushing up the block, man. It's just that simple. Let me get Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. Sorry about that. 
Isaiah chapter 14, 1 and 2, man. Let me get Revelation 9, uh, Revelation 9, 13, 9 and 2. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Yo, for the up. Lord will have mercy on Jacob. For the Lord will have mercy on the Israelites. Go ahead. And will yet choose Israel. Mm -hmm. And set them in their own land. And set them in their own land because we are not in our land right now, man. You want to call yourselves African American, man. The name of two different continents. This is not our land. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers shall be joined with them. That's these other nations outside of Israel. So y'all might be thinking like, man, they're going to be joined with us in the Lord's kingdom? Yeah, they are. But let's find out what their role is going to be. Go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to the house of the Israelites, man, the house of Jacob, man. Cleave to us, man. Cleave. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 2. And the people shall take them. Oh, we're going to ask them nicely. Hey, Bartholomew, could you please come with me to the Lord's kingdom? No, they're not going to do that, man. Hey, we're, we're going to take, take him. We're taking him for sure. <laughs> That's right. You're going into slavery. <laughs> That's right. Hard That's hard right. Slavery. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And bring them to their place. Go ahead. And the house of Israel mm. shall possess them. Possess them. Go ahead. In the land of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For what? For servants. Mm -hmm. And handmaids. And handmaids. And they shall take them captive. Take them captives, just like these wicked people took us captive. What? Whose captives they were. Whose captives they were, man. So that is justice, man. The Most High is a man of war, man. He's a God of war. He's not a God of hot scotch, NBA 2K, Bubblicious, Fruit Stripe gum. <laughs> he ain't no soft man, man. That's an austere man. And austere means mean. When you look up the definition, bring out that precept, Bob. Right? The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Look, the Most High only knows us, man. That's why we're getting punished in these streets. That's why we're getting punished every single day, man, when we don't want to listen to thus said the Lord. If you got children and they don't listen to you as parents, man, don't you punish them? Because you love them, right? You don't want them to continue to keep acting in the same folly and wickedness and foolishness. You're trying to teach them how to be righteous. You're trying to teach them the right ways on how to live. But if you allow them to just do what they want to do, what ends up happening, man? We see that a lot with heathens, man. With the so-called white men and their kids. They let their kids do whatever. No, mom. You pick up the trash. They, they, they say, I'm going in my room. And close the door, man. Slam the door. Then they in their room, they making a bomb. Then they go to school and blow up the whole school, man. Talk about I'm mad because my mama took my Xbox. Wickedness, man. And that's how the Most High feels about us, man. We're his children. We are the children of God, man. He loves us dearly. So he wants to make sure that we have the right equipment as far as dealing with these law, statutes, and commandments on how to live, man. How to be righteous. And if you don't want to listen to those things, then guess what, man? All hell gonna break loose. My brother Deacon brought out a, a, a message dealing with Genesis 3, man. How the Most High literally created these other nations, all right, to be wicked. Then you got the Christianity people talking about it's a serpent, it's a snake that deceived Eve, man. No, that's a man. And she got deceived through false philosophy, man and deceit. These are things we got to understand, man. We are the Israelites. How you guys doing today? You guys know that you're the Israelites the Bible speaks of? Yeah. All praises, all right? Yeah. So if somebody's going to ask you what your nationality is, what you going to say? That's right, sister. All That's praises. Right. Man, give them a hand, man. Real talk, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Our people are waking up. Let me get that out of Baruch, man. Real quick. You know what I'm talking about. I think it's Baruch 4. Yeah. Bring that precept out. Uh, Baruch, I think it's Baruch 4. Going back into the nursery, going to uh, wake up in the land of our captivity. Yeah, it's Baruch 2 and 30. Yeah. Bring this out. This is Psalms, chapter 103, verse 6. Bring it out. The Most High executes righteousness mm -hmm. and judgment mm -hmm. for all that are oppressed. That's right. 
Keith, go ahead. Verse 7, he made known his ways unto Moses, mm -hmm. his acts unto the children of Israel. Hey, man, the same way the Most High put these plagues on the, on, 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 uh, on the Egyptians, man, is the same thing that we're seeing right now in this wicked world, man. There's plagues going on around here right now. Because, hey, judgment is coming to you, so-called white man. It's just that simple. That's right. If you're going to walk up here and look at the signs, make sure you look at what's been done to our people, man. And understand that's going to be done to you. The Most High is a righteous God, man. And he's going to seek judgment upon these heathens, man. That's right. That's, right. that's why we're waking up in the land of our captivity. Bring that up. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 28. Bring it out. As thou speak, Selaki, as thou spakest by thy servant mm -hmm. Moses in the day that thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, mm -hmm. surely this great very multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations and where that, I will scatter them. And that's what happened. We got turned into a small number because we've been spread out on all four corners of the earth, man. All right? You got the so-called white man that's steady trying to kill us, man. They put metal, man, in baby food. I've seen this thing, man. Lady gonna take a little magnet, you know what I'm saying, on some baby food powder. And next thing you know, man, you, you're literally seeing pieces of metal inside that, man. They do these type of things. They create all types of wicked devices to destroy us. Go ahead. For I know that they would not hear me. Mm. Because, it's, because it is a stiff-necked people. Because we are stiff-necked, man. We don't hear the most high. We want to stay stuck in our ways, man. We can't put down our folly, man. We can't put down the ways that we learned in the world and pick up the ways of the Most High. We're stiff-necked, man. We got to get out of that. We hard-headed, man. Go ahead. But in the land of their captivities, oh, that's powerful. they shall remember themselves. In the land of our captivities, we are remembering ourselves as a so-called Israelites. That's right. By Shiva Mashiach Yahweh and if you got a problem with it, hey man, start lifting weights to get ready for slavery. That's right. <laughs> because we tired of this stuff, man. We tired of being oppressed. We tired of being the low ones, man. The most I bet is better than everybody, man. Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. I'm about to wrap this up. Hold that for me, bro. Uh, we better than everybody. The most high says so. They want to walk up here and call, call us racist. You damn right we racist. Why? We racist against people who are not part of this nation, man. If you ain't part of the nation of Israel, man, yeah, we racist, bro. And racist is, is nothing really paraphrasing as far as the definition. It's just being for your own people. Ain't the Chinese man for his own people? Ain't the so-called white man for his own people? Why can't we be for our own people? There's nothing wrong with that, man. Martin Luther King said that was probably the worst thing that's happened to our people. It's when he literally migrated us together again. He regretted that, man. Bring that out. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people. Thou art an holy people. Holy means separate. We got to get that through our minds, man. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. And the Lord thy God had chosen thee. Chosen the Israelites. Go ahead. To be a special people unto himself. Wow. To be a special people unto himself. That's possessive, man. Don't that sound racist? Go ahead. Above all people. Above what? Above all oh. people. Go ahead. That are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. It's literally, literally right. Literally the definition of racism, man. One nation, one race, believed to be higher above the other people. But they want to sit there and talk about one nation under God. With liberty and justice for all. No, the only nation that's under God is the Israelites. We're not blinded no more, man. You can't fool us no more, man. We're waking up, man, in the land of our captivity. There is a duty for us, man, to be here. To wake up our people. Bring that out, Ark. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God, fear God, and keep his commandments. That's right, go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. Fear God, keep his commandments. Because right. this is the whole duty of man. The whole reason why that we are created, man, as Israelites, is to keep his commandments. Because they're for and for us only. You got a precept? 
Come. Bring it out. Book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Bring it out. And be not the oppressors, mm. and choose none of his ways. And be not the oppressor, choose none of his ways. Let me get Jeremiah Powerful. 10 and 2. Powerful. Powerful precept. Don't envy because you see your oppressors that are living good here on this wicked earth, man. They sitting at, you know what I'm saying, 17 stories high, all right? They driving what they want to drive. They can walk into a dealership and go get what they want without a cosigner, all right? They can sit there and have a college fund already saved up for little Timmy, little Bartholomew, to go to Duke before they even hit, before they even come out the womb. Hey, man, right. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked, man. This is their inheritance, man. Our inheritance is the kingdom when we keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Bring it out. Thus says the Lord, mm -hmm. learn not the way of the heathen, mm. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That's right. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Learn not the ways of the heathen. These heathen are dismayed at these signs that they're seeing right now, man. That's why they're walking around here scared with a mask on, man. They scared. Talk about six feet, brother, six feet. They scared, man. They don't know what to do, man. The government don't know what to do. I think we got an answer to COVID. You ain't got no answer to COVID. <laughs> Thus said the Lord is doing this, man. He's seeking judgment upon this wicked nation. That's right. We're living in these end times right That's now, right. man. We got to know the times we're living in, man. We got to constantly keep our minds on the ordinances of the Most High. Keep our minds occupied on prophecy, man. Seek wise counsel. That's right. Don't dialogue with a fool when you learn this spiritual knowledge and wisdom. That's the spiritual knowledge and wisdom that the Most High gave you, man. He chose you. That's right. These are things we got to understand. Let me get Matthew 24, 6 real quick, a classic real quick. It's lucky, man. Spirit's moving. I'm going to wrap this up, though. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. Bring it out. And ye shall hear of wars mm -hmm. and of rumors of wars. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right? Iran, you know what I'm saying? One of their top uh, scientists dealing with uh, nukes. with nukes was just murdered. Cold blood murdered yesterday, man. I think it was yesterday. All right? And, what, and they sitting there saying, talk about, hey, it might be Israel. It might be Israel. These are rumors of wars, man. We've already seen wars in the past, man. Understand that it's not on our timing, it's on the Most High's timing. That's Come right. on, man. These are things we gotta understand, man. A thousand years to us is one day to the Most High. Talk about the it. scriptures tells us that, man. So the end times could have been happening because we've been seeing these rumors of wars. We didn't see World War I, World War II. We didn't see Desert Storm. We didn't see 9-11. I mean, I praise the most high on 9-11. But hey, man, we've seen these things. And World War III is around the corner, man. And what you think's gonna happen in World War III, man? They gonna end up going to war with all these other nations. Next thing you know, Yahweh Shah's coming back, man, with his chariots, man. Then right. all, gonna, all these other nations gonna look at the sky and be like, dang, man, hey, look, maybe we shouldn't even be fighting with each other. Let's fight Yahweh Shah. And guess what's gonna happen, man? All hell gonna break loose, man. They gonna get their judgment. That's right. That's when we gonna bring them into captivity, Come man. On. That's right. The remnant that's remaining, man. That's when these this earth is gonna get hit with international continental ballistic missiles, man. Fervent heat, as Second Peter talks about, man. That's right. Bring it out. So we gotta be, uh, we gotta keep watch of these things, man. We gotta beware of this stuff, man. Seek to wise counsels, man. Stay around your brothers, and I'm wrapping this up. So